Hello everyone, this is C Nanners, and today we're playing some hardcore team deathmatch on airfield. So I don't really like hardcore, and I don't know why I'm playing hardcore, but <laughs> I thought it might be fair to upload a different variant of something that I enjoy. And you may exclusively play hardcore, and you may like it, and I figured I would do my best to try my best to get you guys some good tips. And whenever I start off uh, a game of, of hardcore, I try to use the gun that best fits the, the map I'm on. And I feel that with Airfield, there are a lot of situations where you're going to be in close quarters combat and shooting people from a distance. And the STG is a very good example of how to not compromise in these two fields. And the STG is very good for strafing and for shooting people across the map because I feel out of all the SMGs slash rifles, it's probably the easiest to, to use. I put on the flash hider to hopefully mask myself when the other team does get UAV. And I have on Bandolier, Jugger Juice, and Dead Silence. I put on the Jugger Juice because I wanted to give myself a couple more seconds because you can down somebody in hardcore really quickly and I'm used to playing just core deathmatch and I'm not making excuses but I don't know if this is I'm not I don't know if this is the best perk to use I mean I would assume camouflage would probably be better but I kind of wanted people to come to me because this game type is very slow paced <laughs> and people take their time because like I said nobody wants to move because this game rewards those who I mean look at my radar everyone on my team is kind of just staying put and there's one guy that's running around and, and me as well but for the most part people don't move <laughs> and I don't want to complain and I'm just I just want you guys to be aware that if you play this game type it will probably be frustrating and, and I know that some people are probably veterans of this game type and enjoy it but I just don't get it <laughs> and I would assume this would be more like actual war but I don't know I just don't I don't enjoy it and I don't want to dissuade you from playing. I just want to hopefully give you guys some tips and I think the best way to go about playing this map or any map is to take your time because there is no rush in hardcore because if you run and fire from the hip a lot you're gonna find that most people playing hardcore are not gonna be doing that and if you watch the rest of this map you're probably gonna find that there's not too much movement by the other team and or my team and I am moving and I am pushing up every once in a while, but I try to take my time and I certainly don't want to get frustrated because this game type has a reputation of being extremely frustrating. And I should have probably put on Bomb Squad because that's probably the best perk to be using. And I use Bandolier a lot because I don't tend to die as much and I want to continue using my gun. And my recommendation would be to put on something that would help you kill the other team like bomb squad or Betty's because those are probably the best blue perks to be using in this because uh, there are people that that run in and there are people that push up and those sort of perks are a very devious way of getting rid of the other team and I have on jugger juice like I said I think camouflage would be another good perk to have but I get a little bored when everybody's a ninja because that means that nobody's doing anything and it becomes it quickly becomes a match of people who are slowly pushing up every once in a while it's like you're on some busy freeway and nobody's moving and that's what kind of happens and man I, I I apologize by the way I I'm gonna try my best not to bag on hardcore too much but <laughs> it's kind of too easy because there are there are good things about hardcore, like, I like how it takes fewer bullets to kill someone on either team. This is drastically different from something like Core Deathmatch or even something like Halo that takes like four or five BR shots to the face to kill them. In that this is, if somebody sees you, they're probably going to take you down. And I think that going into this match or any hardcore match, I know that if I move... Um, I mean, I have to be super defensive, and it sucks, and, and I mean, I feel that uh, I don't want to be pitted as some sort of camper, and I know that some people will probably have 
their own opinions and everyone tends to throw out that phrase and I'm sure that uh, of all the things I'll be accused of it will be modded controller, camping, um, playing too defensively, using the wrong guns, using the wrong perks, generally everything. I think that I find that, uh, I mean, I'm sorry to be negative, but I've been very discouraged by a lot of the conversations and the banter and, and, and discussions of this game or any game in that people are very negative and I think most people have to tend to remind themselves that this is a game <laughs> and your success or your valor on the field of battle means nothing in the real world. I mean, if you tell, you know, <laughs> an employer, a prospective employer, that you're really good at Call of Duty, <laughs> I mean, what is he going to say? He's going to probably, first of all, not know what Call of Duty is, and second of all, not be impressed at all. And it's kind of funny. I tell people, I've, I've told a couple friends and, and family members, I'm like, yeah, I've been uploading, you know, videos on YouTube of me playing games. And the first question is, is usually, why do you do that? <laughs> and I think a lot of people don't get it. And even people that do play a Call of Duty don't get it. And I want everyone, I want to pretty much set the record straight that I play this game and I upload videos to entertain and hopefully educate you guys on tactics that I find helpful. And I never have, nor will I in the future, proclaim myself as some sort of amazing player and or the best and or whatever. And anybody who wants to focus negativity on myself or this channel or my gameplay, you're kind of wasting your breath because <laughs> I don't really care. And I know that this game is, is supposed to be fun, and I'm trying to make this game funner for some people because not everybody can get a ton of kills, and, and not, a, not everyone can, can do well. And, and I just want everyone to know that I don't really care if anyone thinks I'm good or bad, and that's not the point of my videos, and that's not the point of this channel. The point of this channel, like I said, is to entertain and educate, and just like anything else, I mean, think of this channel as, you know, <laughs> me giving you tips on how to cook or or build a cabinet I don't know <laughs> this is just like any other do-it-yourself or, or tips and tricks uh, just because it's a video game doesn't mean people need to blow it out of proportion I think that a lot of people take this game way too seriously and they they assume that since I'm posting good gameplay that that I must take this game seriously and that it must mean the world to me that I can do good or bad. At the end of the day, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like I said, this, this doesn't affect the real world in any way. It, it is not going to get you a job. It's not going to get you the respect of the community. And by community, I mean your friends and family and, and those you meet. This is intended to be fun. And I want to say that <laughs> You cannot blow this game out of proportion because it, there's absolutely no point. And, and I thank you, everyone on my channel, for being so positive thus far. And those who intend to try to make themselves feel better by denouncing my ability or anything I have to say, you're kind of wasting your breath because, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm 25. I, I, I have no interest in being a professional gamer or a professional skateboarder or whatever it may be. I mean, I'm sure that most people will come to this conclusion at some point in their life that video games are intended to have fun. If you're not having fun, if you're getting angry, then do not play. And I'm sorry if I've offended anyone, and I do not mean to offend anyone. I just want you guys to be happy, enjoy yourselves, and have fun. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.